Okay, so a bunch of you have been asking me how I get these smooth zooms, and how you can do it too. So today, I'm just going to show you how it's done. Get ready. First, click the link in the description. You should land on this GitHub repo. From here, go to the releases section. Now, just download that top file. All right, open OBS. Head to tools and then scripts. Click the plus icon, find the script you just downloaded and add it. If you did it right, you'll see this panel on the right. This is where you tweak everything. Here, I pick the source I want to zoom. Then you've got the zoom factor, zoom speed, follow speed, all of that. Let me show you. If I turn the zoom off and crank the follow speed to max, then toggle it on, see how it snaps to my cursor? Way too jittery, so I lower it down. That's how you get that smooth follow. Next, the zoom factor. Let's bump it to, say, four. Toggle the zoom and, huh, that's way too close. Let's bring it back down a bit. There, that's more like it. Follow border, I keep this at max. I want the whole frame to move with me, feels better. Lock sensitivity, honestly, I never use the lock feature, so I left it default. You can play with it. And that's it for the settings. Now to actually turn it on and off, go to file, settings, hotkeys, scroll down, find toggle zoom to mouse, and set a key. I use my numpad key since I never touch it. Quick tip though, this script can act up with the very latest OBS. If it glitches, just check the issues tab on the GitHub repo. The community usually has a fix posted. And yeah, that's literally it for a smooth cursor following zoom in OBS. Now let's do it in Premiere Pro. Okay, so we're in my editor now. By the way, this method works in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, basically any editor with keyframes. I've got a clip here. First thing, I turn on guides. Both Premiere and New Resolve have them. I use them to find my cursor's starting spot, because that's where the eyes are. Now, I add two keyframes, one for position, one for scale. Then I move forward, let's do seven frames. One, two, three. Seven. The cursor's moved, so I drop new keyframes here. Now I scale up and adjust the position to keep the cursor centered on the guides. If I want the zoom to hold for a bit, I move forward, add two more keyframes to lock it in. To zoom back out, same thing. Move forward seven frames, add two keyframes, then I click this reset button to snap everything back. Now if I play it, Okay, it zooms, but it's kind of stiff. I highlight the first two keyframes, right click, and choose Ease Out. The next two, Ease In. Do that for all of them. Now, if I open the graph, see that curve? Play it now, smooth zoom in, a nice hold, and a smooth zoom out. And that's really all there is to it. Hope that helps you out. Catch you in the next one. Peace.